Hey guys, Morgan Evans here. My brand new album, my very first album, Things That We Drink To, comes out today, which is super exciting. I'm here thanks to Cody and CMT for having me on uh, to do the iHeartRadio Ask Anything chat today. And um, these are questions from you guys, so thanks for sending them in. Uh, do you remember the first time you saw yourself on CMT? Yes, I do. It was at my mother-in-law's house and she thought it was super cool and so did I. Thank you very much, CMT. Cora from Beaver Dam, do you remember the first show you ever did? How did it make you feel? Yes, I do. It was a school music night. They had this thing called, called Mad Night, which is like music, art, dance, and drama. And we were the music part of that night. And uh, it was a band with me and my brother and my best friend from kindergarten playing drums. And we played a song that I'd written called Life. Because when you're 13 years old, you know a lot about that. <laughs> it was the worst song ever. And I'm sure we sucked, but uh, I remember having the best best time and, and I think I was addicted to it from then. Rhonda from Burbank, what's your go-to food on the tour bus? I talk about this so much I feel like people are going to think I have a problem and maybe they're right. Corn chips. Nancy from Fort Erie, what's one song you sing in the shower but would never sing in public? I don't really have much shame when it comes to that kind of thing. Like I, I feel pretty... If it, if a song's catchy, I'm happy to sing it out loud. Um, I think what I, what I do that is like sort of maybe a little bit embarrassing, and, and Kelsey does this too, is we both have this thing where we sort of like, something's in our head and then we kind of black out for a second and we just sing it like way louder than we should in public spaces. And we have to remind each other, hey, shh, shh. Jenny from Flagstaff. Flagstaff. What Christmas song would you record if you did a Christmas album? Jenny. I would do Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You because it's potentially the greatest song of all time. And yes, I would attempt every run she does and I would fail miserably. <laughs> the tour bus pulls up to 7-Eleven. What five things are you buying when you go inside? It is a mystery every time. Um, I never know what I'm going to walk out of there with. Maybe water. Maybe one of those like pre-packaged coffees that always taste horrendous. Maybe a chocolate bar. Maybe a packet of corn chips. Who knows? That's kind of the fun of it. Jerry from Huntsville. What high school did you go to? Do you still talk to people from when you were a teenager? I went to Warners Bay High School, which is um, in the state of New South Wales in Australia. And yes, I do still talk to people from when I was a teenager. Uh, I still have some really close friends from those times. Um, yeah. Ella from Toledo. Top three goals for 2019. I mean, that's, that's a hard one. This year has been the best year of my life easily, professionally and personally. So it'll be hard to top this one, but I feel like my goal for 2019 is to make it so that in 2020, I can keep playing music and, and do that, and make my life doing that. So um, thank you guys for allowing me to do that now. And hopefully I can keep making music that you dig. Nicole from Columbia. What boy band songs could you sing best? Backstreet Boys for sure. Totally went through a Backstreet Boys phase, may still be in it. Jenny from Knoxville, fill in the blank. My name is Morgan Evans and I have an album coming out this week. <laughs> it's called Things That We Drink To and um, I hope you dig it, Jenny. Courtney from Richmond, how blinding are the flashes from cameras on the red carpet? William Michael Morgan to the stage. We are at the Opry right now, backstage, doing this, and I guess William Michael Morgan is about to go on, so I'm probably going to go watch that in a second. Um, how blinding are the flashes from the cameras on the red carpet? They're not too bad on the red carpets, as far, you know, from my experience, because it's light. I feel like the worst fla flashes are like when you're in a dark environment, and then the flash goes off and it takes you by surprise, and um, yeah, but I mean, I've only been on a few, so maybe ask me in like a few years. Christina from Covington, what is the coolest thing that you love about your fans? You guys allow me to do this. That's the coolest thing I could ever, ever ask for or ever hope for. So thank you. And I also appreciate feedback. Like when you guys tell me what songs you like, what you like about a song, um, or what you like more than another song, I, I really dig that. That's the reason that Day Drunk is the new singles, because you guys were tweeting and Instagramming and, and Facebooking that you wanted that, so thank you. <clears throat> Mindy from Little Rock, what are you doing for Halloween? Halloween's not really a thing in Australia. I didn't grow up doing Halloween, so it's a new thing. 
And, um, you know, as the, the new guy in town, I kind of just follow, follow Kelsey's lead on that. She's been doing it a long time. Sandra from Staten Island. What clothing brand is your favorite? Sandra, I try to wear Australian stuff when I can. I feel like there's not many Australian things left in my life, so I try to support Australian um, designers. One of my friends has a company called Academy Brand, which uh, I love, and, and another um, brand called Xanarobe. Xanarobe, I don't even know how to say it, but they're Australian brands, and I, I try to support them. Heather from South Bend. If you're driving around in the car listening to the radio and your song comes on, do you automatically start singing along? Yes. The radio automatically gets a little bit louder, windows get wound down a little bit further, and my smile gets a little bit wider. Um, that's definitely not something that is anywhere close to getting old for me. Shelly from Denver. Do you ever get mistaken for other singers? No, not really. But I do get mistaken a lot. I feel like I have a familiar face. and. More than anyone else I've ever met, people will always come up to me and they're like, you remind me so much of my little brother's friend or like my sister's ex-boyfriend or something like that. I don't know what it is if it's like just the dark hair and like a little bit of a beard or something like that that people... Um, and I used to get Dave Grohl a little bit, like the Foo Fighters singer, which I was pretty stoked about that one. <laughs> Donna from Cincinnati. Do you have any tattoos? No, terrified of needles. Alexa from... Macon, Macon. What's your favorite candy? Chocolate, for sure. Joan from Toronto. How big are your family reunions? Um, I guess it depends on the occasion. Uh, but my family's pretty big. My d direct family is just my brother, sister, and mom and dad. But um, my grandparents and my brother has uh, four. Uh, my father rather has uh, four siblings, and uh, yeah, they they usually pretty big if we do something at Christmas. Obviously it's harder for me to get back now because I'm over here, but um, I at least try to like FaceTime in or Skype in or something like that. Bella from Erie, can you do impersonations? <laughs> Sometimes. I feel like I need to be in a zone, but uh, my, southern, my southern accent impersonation is just like, y'all are crazy, which you are. Um, yeah. That's embarrassing on that. Thanks to Cody Allen, CMT and IHA for having me on the show today to answer these questions. And um, thanks to you guys for checking out my new album, Things That We Drink To. It's out today. And um, thanks for the question. Thanks for tuning in. And hope to see you on the road real soon.